still the 5th of July, and my voice is still gone, but since my last vlog, <laughs> I went down to the beach, hung out with all my friends, went on the raft, just kind of laid around on the beach, and floated in the water, and they're still out there playing games on the beach. I'm watching them right now. Took a shower. Roy's still in Devore for the Mayhem Festival. I don't know if you can hear me. But the last video you said you said you could hear me. You might need to turn up the volume. Having some wine. And I can't stop eating leftover pizza. I can't stop eating leftover pizza. I already had three slices. Three slices. A Maui Zowie pizza. Guess I'm hungry, so that's what I'm doing. They just text me saying, hey, coming back on the beach. And I said, I don't know. It's one of those things. It's when uh, my husband's away. I'm like, okay, I'll hang out with my friends. But then I'm like, I just kind of want to take advantage of having the apartment to myself. You know, I was already out there. I might go back out there later. I don't know. They're playing Cornholio right now. I would turn this camera that way, but I can't zoom in on my webcam, and then it would be backlit, And because literally the beach is right there. I'm looking at it. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll try to insert some beach activity later. But I wanted to do like maybe a sketch type of video that I see on YouTube about my personal experiences. Because I want to talk to you about the bromance. Okay. As you know, I have a husband. He has a lot of guy friends. We make jokes that he has lots of wives. Victor, Evil Vic is his friend before me. I call him his first wife because he, it's before he met me. I'm the second wife. And then there's other guys that are his third wife, fourth wife, and, and so forth. We make jokes about it, but it's kind of true. And let me apologize, no make it begin. I just look a little darker because I've been out on the beach. My hair's wet, wet in the bun. That's about it. Anyway, so we make a joke about the wives situation. So he has many wives. And also I joke about the bro card. Meaning, like there was this one time where Roy, we were at Kendra's housewarming party. Kendra Wilkinson, when she got married to Hank Basket, and they got their first house. We went to their housewarming party. Roy got a little drunk and he was starting to pass out and they were filming for her TV show. So I went up to him and I go, hey, Roy, you might want to go upstairs and like either pass out, take a nap, or call it a night. He's like, no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. No, never mind. You know, basically because I'm the wife, I'm the nag, he doesn't want to do what the wife says. I get it. All right, so I go to Evil Vic, and I go, you know, his first wife, and I go, hey, and I pull the bro card, and I go, hey, Roy's really faded. He needs to go upstairs and just call it a night. Cameras are rolling, and plus, this is best that he, and Victor goes, you're right. So he goes up to Roy, and he goes, hey, hey, man, you're kind of wasted. You need to go upstairs. Roy goes, you're right, man, you're right. Roy marches upstairs, goes to bed, no drop. So I call it the bro card. Whenever I see something that I need to step in and I don't want to be like a nagging, controlling wife, I will go to his guy friends and I'll say, hey, what do you think? And if they agree with me, they will tell him, and then he will do it. 
I'm not gonna try and be controlling, I'm just trying to help them out. Like if I was a guy, I would just help like anybody else. So, this is the thing. He values their opinions and their uh, input better. So, but it's funny because we'll all go to a restaurant. Vic, let's say Evil Vic is still at work. He doesn't get off work till eight. We're at the restaurant at seven. I'm starving. I haven't eaten all day. But we're waiting for Vic to get off work at eight because we don't want to eat without him because he'll get upset. Well, so Evil Vic will text Roy when Evil Vic gets off work, say, hey, just got off work, order me this, order me that, so it's on the table when I get there. As soon as Roy gets the text, he talks to the waiter. The waiter brings it out right away, so it's there. So but then when the food comes, all their food gets there my food, I don't know why, I'm always the last one to get served. Now mind you, I am also the slowest person to eat. Like they scarf their food up and then I'm, and then my food finally comes to the table after they're pretty much done and then I pick at it because I like to enjoy my food, I like to taste my food, I don't want, because I, I know now when you scarf up your food, you get full and then you're uncomfortable and I don't like that. So I eat slowly, so when I start getting full, I know to end it. That's my thing. So, they're almost done. I'm still eating, taking my time. I just box it up because I know we got to go. And so I don't really get to eat still. I'm not complaining, I'm just explaining. So that's one of the things that goes on. Um, oh God, there's so many things I want to talk to you about, but I don't want to make this video too long about the, the ex-wives clubs, Roy's wives, and the broke heart. But it's funny because whenever I want to watch a movie, Roy, he wants to monopolize the TV, which is fine, which is probably the reasons why, which says he's away, I want to watch whatever I want to watch on TV. But when he's in his man cave, he's on the futon, and whenever I want to sit down, I always got to like find a little corner or find a little place to sit down because he's sprawled out in comfort, right? No big deal, not a problem. But I find it kind of odd because when his friends come over, especially his first wife, Evil Vic, he sits in the most comfortable spot and he doesn't want anyone sitting in the spot. Even when he leaves in the restroom, he gets mad if someone sits back in the spot. And Roy has to sit in the most uncomfortable spot. And today, I thought it was really funny. I caught a little bit on video because Evil Vic doesn't want to be. He doesn't like to be on camera, so I, it's hard for me to do this. But I passed by um, Roy's man cave as they're waiting for their friend Dana to pick them up for the Mayhem Festival. And they're in Roy's man cave watching a movie. Evil Vic is on the futon, right in the middle of the futon, sprawled out, all comfortable. No room for anybody else on the futon. Roy is laying on the ground, which I never see him do. Laying on the ground with his hands like this, watching TV, letting Vic just take full control over the futon. Again, I thought, man, I just find it a little amusing because if it was me, I'd be one on the ground. So I know what the pecking order is. I know who came first. I'm not saying I'm okay with it, I just understand it and I let it go because I pick and choose my battles and that's just the way it is. That's just, that's just the way it is. And there's other factors in this, but Evil Vic is the main one. I know he comes first and I come second in so many ways. So many ways because he doesn't want to upset him. Like, like, I can talk to you more about this and I'll probably make another vlog about this and I'm going to try to insert some of the video into this, um, I'm going to see what I got. 
So I'll just let you know this is what's going on. It's still the 5th of July. Just a little vloggity vlog about the bro card, the bromance factor, and how things are. I think, you know, it's like a sister's wife's thing. And so I'm trying to get like, and I don't really have a chick type of thing, but I do have this other guy, I call him my friend Stan. I call him my second husband. He's really sweet because I, I gotta get something too, you know? I just thought it was funny. So I don't know if any of you witnessed this kind of thing, this bromance, or if you pull the bro card. For all you wives out there that have the husband's best interest at heart, you wanna might want to pull the bro card where you see something, that, but the husband won't listen to you. You get the guy to say it. Because once the guy says it, they'll do it. And I don't take advantage of that situation because I don't, then it will ruin it. But it's only for things that really make sense. There's this other story that just came to mind. It's actually kind of bad, but it turned out okay. Let me just say that I survived. I got pushed out of traffic. That someone tried to kill me in this story. And I probably shouldn't joke with it. But, maybe I said too much already. I'll just let that hang, and maybe I'll try to figure out a way to, to speak to it. I'm seeing them coming off the beach now. I don't know, I might go up and join them. But after three slices of pizza, I'm kind of full. And it wasn't just normal pizza, it was a Maui Zowie from Round Table with extra Polynesian sauce. So good. But, talk to you later.